Howdy everyone and welcome back to The More You Grow. This is a very, very exciting video for me because it's been a video that's been four years in the making. Uh, back at College Station where I used to go to Texas A&M University and where I started this channel, I did a series pretty often called Grocery Store Growing where I showed you how to take fruit or produce from the grocery store and grow your own plants at home either just to have a cool house plant even though it won't make fruit or to have a fruit bearing plant. And in one of those videos, I showed you how you can grow your very own dragon fruit cactus from the seeds that you get from the grocery store. And I'm happy to share that something very exciting has happened with those dragon fruit plants back in that video. So let me take you a little bit closer over here and show you what they look like now and what the exciting news is. So if you'll look back here, you'll see that I have these dragon fruit plants growing in hanging baskets here in the greenhouse. These are the ones we started on this channel here on the dragon fruit video. If you want to see that video, I'll leave the link right up here. You can go check that out. I'll leave it down in the description too. But I showed you how to grow these dragon fruit from seed. So you can grow them from seed. It takes a little while for them to be productive or you can actually grow them from cutting as well. I actually just sent a few cuttings to a very good friend of mine and their family over at the Texas Boys. Junior, their son, wanted dragon fruit plants for his birthday and nothing will get me going more or get me more excited to see young kids excited about growing plants. So how could I say no to that when we have these lovely dragon fruit plants right here that we can take cuttings from? So the way I've done this is I have put these dragon fruit into hanging baskets. I know I had a video um, posted here on the channel about creating the dragon fruit trellis. That works okay if you have the time to train it up into that trellis. It didn't work as well for me because I wasn't as diligent at training it into the trellis. This on the other hand worked really well for me. I just put them in hanging baskets. You can see these aren't large pots either. They don't take up a lot of space and I just hang them from the rafters in here. They do weigh a lot. I've had to zip tie them up here to keep them from falling, but they do a good job. They like to hang and drape down a lot of times. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, something I've observed. But they are a vining cactus. They're a tropical cactus, so they love the water. They love the heat. And this is one of the few plants I would say you probably have to have a greenhouse for or live in a tropical area because you do not want to try to take this thing in and out of a building or a house or anything like that because wow do they have some good thorns on them they are pokey so you have to be very careful around them so what i want to show you and what i'm most excited about is a little bit closer up so let's go in a little bit closer and i'll show you what the big main thing about this video is so just to give you a little bit of background of what's happened so far is this dragon fruit has begun to flower it's become mature and the flowers are absolutely gorgeous guys let me put a few pictures up on the screen where you can see this they're the most huge beautiful flowers i've ever seen but they only last for one night they bloom late in the evening they bloom at night and they're gone by the next day so what you have to do is if you're growing them yourself you have to hand pollinate them i just kind of take my hand and ruffle it down into the flower a little bit and apparently that has worked because I want to show you what we have down here on the end of these vines. So if we follow right down this vine right here you'll see the big surprise. Look at this you guys. We have ourselves our very first dragon fruit our very first yellow dragon fruit from the ones we grew from seed took four years but look at this happy thing this is happy healthy dragon fruit right here it's covered in spines so that's gonna be a fun one uh, i think i have a good way of picking this so what i want to do is tell you a little bit about what i found about these fruits this may not be completely accurate but it's something i've just observed one thing i've observed is that the flowers tend to grow on the vines that drape down. I've seen multiple flowers on this now, but these are the first that we've grown that we've got fruit from. All right, so first things first here is I got a glove, a good leather glove to protect me. 
But what I've seen people do in the past is they will take these, they'll take something and just knock the spines off like so. So these are coming off fairly easy, thankfully. You can just brush these off kind of with the back side of the knife. These are coming off very, very easily, thankfully. I was hoping it wouldn't be too much of a challenge, but these are coming off pretty easily. So you just take the back side of your knife, brush them off. All right, so we have the spines all brushed off here. So what I'm gonna do is, if I had some pruners, this would help. I'm just going to take this fruit and we're going to cut it off of the vine here. Voila. Look at that. Our first dragon fruit, guys, I'm so excited. I can't even contain my excitement. Four years, our first dragon fruit from the ones we grew from seed together. This is very exciting, guys. I hope you're as excited as I am because this is kind of summarizing up this long journey we've been together, guys. And there's so much more to come, but this is really taking me back to when I first started, when we started growing these from seed and all the things we did on this channel so far. And it's led up to the amazing moments like this. So we're gonna take this fruit. I think I'm gonna let it ripen up a little bit more. It's just about right. There's a little tiny bit of green on it, but I think it's just about right. I didn't want it to get overripe. So I might let it set a day or two, but when we cut this, we're gonna come back together and we'll taste it together and see how it is. So stay tuned for that. And for you, that will only be a few seconds. So let's go check that out. All right, guys, here we are at the moment of truth. We're gonna cut open this yellow dragon fruit that we grew in the greenhouse from seed on this channel. We're gonna see what we get. So we're just gonna cut right down the middle. Look at that. We couldn't ask for anything better. Perfect yellow dragon fruit here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a slice. You can eat these two different ways that I found. Probably my favorite way when I'm just eating one um, normally is I like to just scoop it out with a spoon. I just take a spoon and scoop it out like a bowl. But you can also cut it into slices like this and kind of eat it like a piece of watermelon, just eat the rind, eat around the rind. So let's give this a taste, see how it is. Oh, it's perfect, guys. So just to kind of describe the experience to you, the flesh is very, very sweet. If you've ever had honeysuckle nectar, like if you ever had the drop of nectar from honeysuckle, that's what this fruit tastes like. If you have not had that, I basically would describe it as kind of like a less intense honey. Like if you could combine fruit, the fruit kind of texture and flavor with the flavor of honey, that's what this reminds me of. It's very, very refreshing. I love the crunch of the seeds too. It has a very crunchy seed. So it's not like a hard seed that you can't eat around, but it's very, very crunchy in a very satisfying way. And you can eat all the way up to the yellow skin. So there's a lot of fruit to eat, but this is my, probably my favorite fruit of all time. If I had to put it up there, it'd probably be right up there with my other favorite fruit mangoes. But this is probably my most favorite that I can't hardly find because yellow dragon fruit seems to be very hard to find here in the United States for me. So this is an awesome experience to be able to have shared with you. 
This is one of the videos, not all of them have worked out well. Some of the previous grocery store growing videos, something happens to the plants along the way. But I'm so excited to have a from start to finish grocery store growing with you right here on the channel. So what I can do now, and what I will probably do is I will collect quite a few of these seeds so I can try to grow some more from seed if I want to. I might share some with kind of friends and family along the way. So we'll see what I do with it, but I'll be collecting some of these seeds for future use. So we'll try to do something with those along the way. So until then, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any more questions for me about how to grow dragon fruit from seed or how to get them to pollinate, how to grow the fruit, leave it down in the comments. I'll answer that to the best I can. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to us on Facebook and Instagram and hit that bell icon for notifications. And until next time, I hope you'll join me right here on The More You Grow.